it's Kayla and I'm back with another video. Today is a very exciting video because it is finally the day we move. It is Monday afternoon. I just wrapped up work for the day, so it is time to finish packing and get ready to go. Brian has a meeting in until 4.30, so we're gonna try and leave around then, but we need to finish packing and pack up the car. I don't have too much left to pack. I do need to pack up my desk and pack up books from my bookshelf and just get everything together that I need to take with me tonight. I think we're gonna try and take two trips tonight and then take one or two more trips throughout the week before we get the moving truck on Saturday. So I'm not gonna move everything today. It's just not gonna happen, but I'm trying to make sure I get together all the essential things that absolutely need to go with me today. We're also gonna try and get my desk in Brian's car if we can. I can take apart all the pieces, so it should be doable, but we will see. The bathroom is entirely packed up, so that is good, and all of my clothes are already in like containers and stuff, so I just need to throw bags around my hanging clothes, and that should all be good to pack. So for the most part, we've got everything packed. It's just a few more things that I need to try and get done in the next hour. First thing is books because that is the main priority and I'm getting my new bookshelf to the new house tomorrow. So I want to have books to be able to put on my new bookshelf. So I'm going to fill up my book cart with as many books as possible and I might try and find another box to put things in as well. And yeah, I cannot believe it's finally here. We're going to the new house in like less than two hours and going to move stuff and sleep there tonight and I just can't wait. Thankfully, we already have a bed there. We are upgrading to a king too. So we don't have to worry about that. We do have to figure out how we're getting rid of this one this week. I'm talking about a mile a minute, but I have a million things to do in the next hour. So let's hop right in, get it done. We're doing it. We're moving. Okay. It's been about 45 minutes of chaotically packing. I haven't really shown anything because I'm just trying to get as much done as possible in this next hour. Well, now it's like 30, 45 minutes, but we're getting it done. This is the current situation. My bookshelf is mostly clear. Those will have to go on another trip. But the large majority of it is packed over here in that large box and that book card. Brian's clothes are in those two. Well, his folding clothes, my ring light is packed, random other stuff. Um, yeah, it's, it's just kind of a mess here. This is everything that was on my desk, trying to find the best place to put it. I have my backpack. I'm gonna put my laptop and like important things in there, I think. I'm gonna try and take my desk apart right now really quickly. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully I can get this in Brian's car. This totally won't focus, but it should fit, I think. If I'm taking it all apart, this top part might not fit, but we're gonna at least try it out and see. As low as it can go, there we go. So. Let's take this apart, see what we've got working with here. But yeah, kind of a mess, just a lot of different things going on, but we are making progress. I am so ridiculously sweaty right now, but a good majority of my stuff is packed. I think the car is completely full. I don't think we can fit much else in there because obviously we need to be in there and we're taking Rosie on this first trip. On the way back, we'll be able to fit more because, because we're gonna leave Rosie at the new house. So we'll have more room then. But for now, I think we've got as much packed as we can. A good majority of my clothes are packed. Those are probably going to wait until another trip. And I have a few boxes here that need to go tonight. So hopefully those will fit in the next trip. All of the boxes that were down here and the suitcases are gone. And I think the last thing we're gonna attempt to fit is my desk. Besides that, I think everything else is gonna have to wait for the next trip or later in the week but I feel like we did pretty good for this first trip getting a lot of stuff over there and then we're gonna drive back and make one more trip after so let's try and fit it last few things in the car and then we'll head to the new house I don't know if I've ever seen the Honda Civic quite this full I'm in the back seat so Rosie is not squished she's sitting pretty up in the front seat and we're going to the new house well, here it is. Here is our new room. Our bed is here. We just moved it a little bit closer to this wall so that we can fit our desk over there eventually. I'm hoping we can fit my desk in Brian's car on the second trip because that would be really nice to have this week. We can see the backyard from our room. I think Rosie just went out there. She can jump on this wall and it's very tall. I'll show you guys in a little bit. Um, and then over here we have our bathroom. I showed this in a vlog in a little bit a while ago. Okay, I can't figure out all these lights. Here is our bathroom. It's very echoey in here, but there's the bathroom. We have a pretty decent sized closet, not as big as our closet now, um, but it's bigger than just like one regular closet. And yeah, that is our room. Probably gonna take that painting down and put up the ones that are in our room now. Maybe I'll try and pack those as well in the house right now, um, but it's time to get everything out 
of the car. Current room status is disaster. I don't even know where the best lighting is here right now. I guess the bathroom. Wish we could have packed the light, but I guess we we're just gonna kind of rock that one for now. Actually, we might go and steal Braxton's because he's not planning to sleep here until after we move the rest of our stuff on Saturday. So maybe I'll go grab his light. Current room status is disaster. We got everything in here at least, but there is nothing in the right place pretty much. And a lot of it we can't like fully set up until the rest of our stuff is here. We did manage to fit my entire desk in Brian's car. So I need to build that either tonight or tomorrow morning so I can work from there. Need to clear our bed so we can make our bed to sleep in. And yeah, it's just kind of a mess. But right now we're actually gonna watch the Warriors game. Three of the five of us in this house are Warriors fans. So we're gonna watch the game, hopefully get something to eat because I'm very, very hungry. And that is the current status of moving. I feel like I probably won't vlog much else tonight because it's just a mess and I don't know how much else I'm even gonna do tonight. But tomorrow I'll definitely film a lot more trying to set up more of our room and also my bookcase comes tomorrow. So I would really like to make that and put my bookcase up so I can put my books on there. I still have a lot of books at our house still, but I brought a good amount with me. So that is the plan for tomorrow. But for right now, I'm gonna watch the Warriors game, chill because we did a lot of moving today. This that jam that you bumping in the car on the radio. Friends so disgusted, wonder how the hell they play it. Then secretly, you know, they're gonna save it to their playlist. Dance to it alone. Good morning, guys. It is day one, morning one in the new house, and I am just so happy. I didn't sleep the best, which I kind of expected that. I normally don't sleep good in new places. So, only slept like four hours, but I am still so happy to be in the new house. I woke up at like four or something and just laid in bed until like 5.15. Then I got up and put on some workout clothes and went for a walk. I don't really know what the new workout routine is gonna be because we are not like a walking distance from the gym like we were before. So I'm gonna have to figure out what we're doing there, but I definitely feel like I'll be going on a lot more walks. There's a really close neighborhood park that's a decent size, so I feel like I can get in good walks there. Not sure what else. It is currently 7.10 and I realized I didn't finish my video that's supposed to go up at 8. I mean, it's like ready and uploaded, but I need to finish the description and tags. So I'm gonna do that right now. I also have a cup of coffee that is very, very full. And yeah, just going to enjoy the morning. I ended up building my desk last night, which honestly I'm glad I did because now I don't have to worry about it this morning and I can just start work at nine. I honestly might work out here this morning because it is just so nice and it's not even that hot right now. It's like cloudy, but it's supposed to be a lot hotter later. And I think the biggest thing I can notice and you guys can probably notice too is the quiet. Like I'm sitting outside and what you hear like, traffic in the distance you hear some birds you hear rosie roaming around but we are not in a direct flight path anymore so you can't hear the airplanes and we're not living next to our very loud neighbor anymore so i am just thriving living my best life so glad to be here i will show you more of unpacking and getting situated today we still have a lot to do and obviously not all of our stuff is here but i can definitely do a little bit more organizing in our bedroom and my bookshelf is supposed to get here so i'm hoping i can build that and get that all set up yeah that's my plan for today just happy to be in the new house and it's going to be a little bit of a slow moving process but honestly that makes it a lot less stressful so i'm happy about that cheers i'm gonna drink my coffee get this video uploaded and i will talk to you guys later the one to say i like when they were nameless uh, like i was listening before they were famous uh, ain't it funny all the years you gotta put into the struggle and it's just so you can try to entertain us guys for them it is day one of working in the hammock once i got my video scheduled i went and made breakfast with brian and got ready for the day and now we are sitting in the hammock ready to work i just logged into all of my instagram accounts and i'm getting started with engagement for the day probably will only stay in here for like an hour or two because i Feel like this is not gonna be good for my back but the vibes are good i have about 10 minutes until my meeting that i need to hop on so i'm gonna try and finish up facebook engagement so that i can just hop right into instagram engagement when we get on that meeting oh also my ikea bookshelf is on the way so hopefully that comes very shortly they called and said they are on their way so that is also very exciting time to work i will talk to you guys later radio hits when we bounce with our friends like this hit the beach with the sun on our back and the tunes all in yeah. grateful this is how we live, time and money just to hear it at a festival.
Play it in the car at a party, show your friends it's the best of all. Get the old score out the way. You know what's getting played. Hit the play, yes, for the vlog. Um, first off, I'm exhausted. I'm probably gonna take a nap here at some point because I am not functioning right now. Two, I finished up work for the morning. I got all of my engagement done and I had another team meeting that I got work done on. Not sure how much else I'm gonna get done for work today. I'm honestly gonna take this week a little bit lighter so I can get myself settled and unpacked in the new house. Work knows I'm moving and it won't be like fully available so that is okay. Still gonna get work done every day just not as much as I probably normally would. And three, my Ikea bookshelf just got here. The only reason I'm not gonna take a nap right now is because I want to attempt to build this thing. The box is really heavy. One of our roommates helped me um, carry it in here but it's here and I want to set it up because I want my books on my bookshelf. So we're gonna attempt to build this now. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long. I feel like Ikea furniture is normally pretty straightforward to build. So we're gonna attempt this. At some point I'm gonna take a break and eat lunch and like I said probably take a nap at some point too because I am so tired. I feel like you can hear it in my voice just how tired I am, but that's the plan for the next little bit Let's get this bookshelf built. You know not very much progress on the bookcase front, but it's something I realize I don't have a hammer so I can't put on the backing But I'm going to build the frame and add the shelves and stuff now And then I will add the backing once I get a hammer But right now I'm going to take a break to go eat because I'm starving so I need food and then we will come back to finish building this. Vloggy vlog, I can't believe it, but I did it. She is beauty, she is grace. This took me several hours, but we got it done, we got it up, and now it is time to put all my books on it. If you wanna see the full building of it, go to my TikTok because I posted it on there. I don't have the time or patience to film on both, but my bookshelf is up, time to put on all the books. I'm gonna go live on TikTok and film me putting all my books up. Well, not film, but go live and hang out with people on live while I sort through all this mess. These aren't even all of my books, but they are large majority of what's gonna go on this shelf. I think a lot of the other ones that are on my shelf still at the other house are gonna stay on that shelf in the office. But these are the ones that are definitely going on this shelf today, so let's do this. I'm so exhausted, but I am determined to get this done today. Thankfully, like nothing's been going on at work and I'm really far ahead on all my stuff, so I could take the time today to do this, to build my bookshelf, and it'll be like right in the background of my computer over there, so that's kind of fun. It's definitely gonna be a little bit difficult to film TikToks in front of it because it's like right kind of connected to our bed but that's kind of the best place to put it unless Brian doesn't end up putting his desk in here then I might switch it over to the other side of the room but for now it's going here and let's get all my books up. Hello vlog I just finished putting all the books on my bookshelf if you can see way back there the top three shelves are totally full. Second to last one and the bottom have some books on them as well but it started getting a little bit top heavy so I decided to skip a shelf to hopefully make it balanced for now. I definitely need to bolt it to the wall but I don't have a drill right now. Our roommate is going to bring one sometime later this week hopefully and then we can bolt it to the wall. I don't think it'll come down. I think it would take a good amount of force to get it to come down um, but it's still a little sketch so we're just going to be careful with that this week. Right now I think I'm going to set up my desk because I'd like to be able to work here tomorrow So I want to make sure this is all set up I feel like that's kind of the last of the stuff that I need to set up for what we already have here Not sure when we're going to go back to the old house again to get more stuff probably Thursday I would guess and then Saturday we're moving like the rest of the furniture and stuff so that'll be like when everything is here and we can get everything situated how we want but we made a good amount of progress the closet is still kind of a disaster because we don't have all our like organizers and stuff but the clothes are just shoved all in there I have my bookcase set up so all of my books are out of the way now or at least the ones that are here and now I want to get the random stuff off the floor and everywhere that need to go on my desk. Let's set this up and then I don't know what we're gonna do after that. Brian should be home from work soonish and we'll go to the grocery store tonight to stock up on food. We did like a quick little trip last night but not like a full stock up. So we're gonna do grocery store full stock up and we'll see what else we do tonight. I'm so exhausted. Like I said I only slept four hours so I need to go to bed early because I did not have time for a nap. Time to put my desk together Together. Let's get this done so I can like finally relax and chill and read my book. And they made a radio song, knowing that we'll sing along when we hear it on. They made a radio song, knowing that we'll sing along, we'll sing along.
just finished setting up my desk. This might change a little bit, but it's good at least for the next few days. I put my desktop, I need to figure out where I'm plugging that in, but it's there. My laptop, laptop stand, the books that I need to read this week, keyboard, my little organizer of random stuff that I need, and then my drawer is pretty organized. I got rid of some stuff in here. I have a notebook, my to-do list pad, I have scissors, tape, whiteout, my book tabs, a ton of bookmarks, my glasses cases back there, coasters, and then all of my technology things, my hard drive, my dongle, extra keyboard, chargers, mouse, all that good stuff. So this is set up pretty well. That's my book bonanza checklist there. For now, I'm just using one of the dining room chairs because my desk chair is still at the old house but better than nothing, that's my little nightstand over there with all my vitamins. And then I just have random stuff that I need to figure out where I'm putting here. And, and I think that's all I'm going to do for unpacking today. I'm absolutely exhausted. I didn't end up taking a nap, so I think I just need to go to bed really early, but I just don't wanna do any more unpacking. And there's honestly not much else I can do. The closet, we're not gonna talk about the closet, but it is what it is until we get all of our like drawer things, organizer things, I don't know what they're called, but that's kind of a later problem for now my desk is done my bookcase is set up over there so we're doing pretty good I think I'm gonna go lay outside in the hammock or just sit in the Sun because I need some fresh air and I want to do some reading so I'm gonna go chill in until Brian gets home and we can go to the grocery store <music> Hello guys, sorry if you can hear the water running. It's in the other bathroom, but it is 10 15 and I am exhausted beyond measure. I was falling asleep reading on the couch. Definitely needed to get a lot more reading done today than I did, but that didn't happen. Just trying to roll with the chaos of moving and everything and getting situated. I'm really glad I got my bookshelf set up today. I'm really glad I got my desk set up today. So everything is good to go. I feel like for the rest of the week, at least like in a room, closet still needs some work, bathroom still needs some work but I feel like the main things are kind of set up and ready to go. I'm really hoping I sleep a lot better tonight and don't wake up at 4 a.m. because I need sleep, I'm so exhausted. I literally keep losing my train of thought because I'm just that exhausted. So I'm not going to talk that much longer. I just wanted to come on and end off this vlog. I feel like we got a good amount of moving footage between yesterday and today and there will be more moving vlogs later this week. Probably not gonna vlog anything tomorrow because we aren't doing anything moving related. I have a lot to get done with like work and PA stuff and YouTube. So that's gonna be kind of my main priority tomorrow and then Thursday and Friday and Saturday, I think we're gonna get back to moving. So I'll pick up the camera then and continue the moving vlogs. If you like this video and are excited for me to be in my new house, cause I'm excited. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave any comments down below that really supports my channel and helps my channel grow. And of course, if you're new, don't forget to stick around and subscribe and join the YouTube fam. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one.